Hi, my name is Dr. Pradeep Bansal. I am Director and Head of Urology and Dental Transplant at Fortis Hospital, Gurgaon. As you all are aware that the world is battling with the pandemic of COVID-19 virus infection. Naturally, in this time of uncertainty, our transplant patients may have some questions and concerns about the risk of COVID-19 to them and their families. So, coronavirus disease, which we call as COVID-19, is an infectious disease caused by a new virus, COVID-19, which is a member of coronavirus family. The first concern is coming, what is the COVID-19? COVID-19 is a disease caused by the novel coronavirus. The common symptoms are fever, dry cough, breathing difficulty. Some patients may have some aches and pains, nasal congestion, running nose, sore throat, diarrhea. About 80% of confirmed cases, they recover from the disease without any serious complications. However, one out of the six patients, they develop serious complications like difficulty in breathing. And in severe case, infection can cause severe type of pneumonia and other complications, which can only be treated at higher level facilities. Second concern which naturally comes are these transplant patients are at increased risk. Risk of COVID-19 is same in the organ transplant recipient as any other patients. However, these patients, they are immunocompromised and can have severe outcome as compared to the immunocompetent patients. They may not present with the early symptoms of coronavirus infection because of their immunocompromised status. So third concern is what can be done to protect this infection. One should observe general precautions to avoid COVID-19 infections, like avoid close contact with sick or other persons, keep distance of at least one meter, which we call as social distancing, avoid touching eyes, nose or mouth with hands. Practice cough etiquettes like sneezing or coughing in the elbow or using tissue and discard it properly. Wash your hands frequently with the soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use alcohol based sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Stay home as much as possible. Now comes the fourth concern. Fourth concern is my transplant can be delayed. Or it can be done on time. Our top priority is always safety of our patients as far as possible and transplant in time of COVID-19 pandemic is considered risky. As of present scenario one should delete organ transplant unless it is emergency to do so and if at all has to be done proper history of travel or contact with a COVID-19 patient should be taken appropriate assessment and evaluation of COVID-19 test by RT-PCR should be done both in donor and in recipients. Proper counseling and informed consent of risk of COVID-19 infection in both donor and recipients should be taken before take undergoing transplant. Fifth concern is any treatment or modification is required. As of now, there is no consensus regarding modification in the immune suppression regime is indicated. Now the sixth concern is how to follow up after transplant. Post transplant visit to the hospital and community should be avoided as far as possible. And the teleconsultation or telemedicine should be taken by the treating physician and try to have home delivery of immunosuppressants. Well, these are the few information for our patients who are waiting for the transplant. Please follow guidelines as released by medical community and government time to time. Be safe and healthy. Thank you.